the Lebanese cabinet has fallen apart. The March 8th coalition led by Hezbollah calls for an urgent cabinet session to address the issue of false witnesses in the UN Special Tribunal for Lebanon, or their ministers would resign. But Prime Minister Saad Hariri, who is traveling in the U.S. and meeting with high officials as well as President Barack Obama, rejects their demand. Hezbollah has been quite defensive over the past few months. They want uh, the Prime Minister, they know first of all that they cannot undo the tribunal, but they want the Prime Minister, who is the son of the assassinated Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri, to denounce the tribunal for them. Such a denunciation before the issuance of the indictments would adulterate uh, the indictments and uh, would make them rather irrelevant. For several months, Saudi Arabia and Syria have been trying to broker a deal between the divided camps and the Lebanese government on the tribunal. The deal recently fell apart with accusations that the U.S. stopped it. Syria and Saudi Arabia are uh, important regional powers when it comes to Lebanon. But the U.S. remains the super player in the region. Uh, Hariri has been grudgingly accommodating Saudi commands. Last year, he exonerated the Syrians and said that their uh, in implication in Hariri's assassination was political. With March 8th ministers resigning from their posts, the cabinet fails to meet a quorum and falls apart. But the cabinet has only met twice since October and terminated without addressing the hundreds of issues on its agenda. A dissolved cabinet is not necessarily a political crisis because the government was already deadlocked and the failed Saudi-Syrian deal means Lebanon's own politicians are going to have to start a new round of internal negotiations. But unfortunately, in order to move forward, the political tension might get worse before it's finally resolved. Andrew Bisson in Beirut, Nile International.